Ladies and gents, welcome back to the purple side of Liverpool, City of Liverpool FC. I am your host, Sefian FM, and we have a fair bit to get to. So let's get to it. Schedule wise, last time we met the absolute shittiest, shittiest, shittiest game, set of games with Eastbourne Town. I can't believe we still lost that, especially that last minute damn goal by them. So 112 minute to secure a penalty, sp or penalty phase and. Yet. Well, from there, Sea of Green for the most part, except this Congleton game. I actually was going to record you. It was this, I believe it was this Congleton game, and it just pissed me off so badly that I, I mean, 79th minute, I lost my shit. I was, I was that close to rage quitting, and there was no reason we should have lost this match or even tied it. Uh, I guess this dude right here, McGon George at 8.3. Uh, what was this? Nope, he's not a faced player, so... But that game pissed me off so bad that my recording just... I couldn't... I couldn't bear to bring it to you. Um, so... But I kept the game, obviously, I'm not gonna to do that to you. But you can see, 3-2 to two over Charnock Richard, a little bit edgier of a game than I liked from when we played them the first time. Where was that? 3-0 at home. So... Uh, away 3-2, goals by Steve Elliott, Zach Alley, and our new boy, Sam Malarkey. Barnoldswick, 3-0. Carl Noon gets a hat-trick. Another hat-trick, loving that. Winsford, 2-0. Sam Malarkey and Carl Noon get another one. Uh, where else? Runcorn Town, 2-0. Uh, <laughs> Burton's Old Boys. Zach Alley gets a double in the late, 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 late. 82 and 87. But Darwin, we absolutely crushed them. Ronnie Morgan, Zach Alley, Sam Malarkey, Carl Noon, and Russ Pickering, of all people. So, and again, another one. All for us before halftime. It was, it was one hell of a drubbing, and then after halftime, they got the the one, and then the second and the 69th, and we basically just tried to shut up shop at mu as much as possible. I am not giving up five plus goals to get a draw or worse <laughs> after a half a first half like that. That was fantastic. So, anyway, today's match does bring us against Northwich, North Northwich, right? Northwich. Uh, anyway, so. But before we get to that, transfers. So I believe the last you saw was Richard Parker. We did bring another striker in, Ronnie Morgan from AFC Liverpool. I guess the derby for me is AFC Liverpool, simply because of how people said I kept, I should be doing AFC Liverpool and not City of Liverpool. So to me, I guess that's a personal derby for me, but he is 37 years old, so definitely declining. You'll see all of this is declining. Three-star current, three-star potential. He did have a seven point something when I picked him up, which is the reason I picked him up. And it was in the Hallmark Security League. So he had, I think at that point, 10 appearances, did very well. And for us, the previous match, 8.1 average rating, one goal, one assist, fantastic. Get off the screen, get off the screen. Why, thank you. And then the last one, 5.9. So he's gonna be one all over the board. Unfortunately, Grant is still injured. He is coming back to, to uh, fitness, which is great, but he did have a set of broken ribs, so he's still out for one to four days. So today's the match, so he's not going to be fit and ready for this, so we're going to be using Ronnie Morgan again. Um, but the other big transfer news, if you didn't already see, Luke Denson has said goodbye. I'm very sad at this. He was fantastic. I mean, fan-freaking-tastic, but 170 pounds per week. There was no way we could offer him that. Uh, he has gone to TNS all the way in the JD Welsh Premier League. So he's getting some money that we just can't offer him. I'm it, very sad about that. Like I said, that's the nature of this beast. So besides Luke, our boy Luke, Brad Smith has left and Chris Richards has left. Chris Richards, I'm not all that you know, pissed off about. Uh, he could play all the way up the left, which was nice, but he didn't get... I, how many games did he get? Uh, it doesn't even show here. So he didn't get a lot of game times with me, I don't think. A couple here and there. Brad Smith, though, was our kind of wonder boy in, in the center back position. He was our top defender. And now he's left. But today is Northwich. The boys in green. They We're even, apparently. So four on, one off... They're inconsistent, which definitely helps us. If we do win this and we do have a match in hand, we will leapfrog them and then some. So this is a big game. So let's get this team selection right. 
Well, ladies and gents, welcome back. This is the team that we're going to have facing Northwest today. Dale sits in goal. O'Donnell, Pickering, Williamson, and Hepworth as a back forward. Ali, Williams, Hare, and Crawford comes in. Uh, I, that that right side, I'm not so sure about. But Crawford does come in since we have to use him at some point. There's Otherwise, there's no reason to bring him in. But that is our midfield four. And Noon and Malarkey are up front. Ronnie Morgan does sit on the bench just in case. We'll see how it works. Josh Grant yeah, is still kind of nursing that injury back. I'm not going to bring him just yet. So we submit this team and we get going. Gray and Coleman are their faced players. They are being scouted. He has not had a terrific time in this league. And let's see how Coleman's been doing. 6.92, not too bad at five and five plus appearances. So let's get this match. Let's kick it off. Passionate, I have faith. A couple people happy. Cool. So we are at home. At Nibex Park. Not too many people in the stadium. But anybody watching us is fine with me. So our first highlight at 29 minutes. Wow, that was one hell of a stretch. Crawford to Malarkey. Over to Williams. Up or over to Alley on the left. O'Donnell. This is nice passing sets. And Noon breaks through. <laughs> nice. Able to get it from uh, underneath the outstretched keeper. That was a nice set right there. Look at all this Barcelona-esque play. Alley with terrific vision up to noon. And then, nope, got it through. That was a nice little sneaky, sneaky sneak. Uh, and everyone is still after Alley. Everyone is still after noon. Well, people are still after noon. So I really hope they don't leave. Heading into halftime with a 1-0 lead over Northwich. I feel like I'm butchering that. I feel like it's not Northwich. Northwich? No, it just doesn't sound right, though. So let's head to this dressing room. So O'Donnell picks it up, up to Williams, up to Noon, back to Hare, all the way over to Crawford, all the way up to Noon, bangs it, oh, just over the bar. That would have been a nice shot if you could get it on target. Oh, come on, Noon. So can we give can we give Kitchen a little bit of you know some issues? And that's not a foul? Okay, that's fine. Dale. What the hell was that? That was pathetic. So we might need to go in for another keeper. I would have thought that was a foul, but okay, so Wooly. That was stupid. So we've got Mar Morgan coming on for Malarkey. Allie up to noon. Oh, Mal I guess Malarkey's still there. Now, come on, guys. This is not working. Thank you, Pickering. Crawford pulls it down. Over to Hepworth. Up to nobody. Again. At least that one was on target. Up to Malarkey. Can he get in? No, he can't. But he can get a corner. So I guess he's just not pacey enough to actually get into the box. So Morgan's finally coming on for Malarkey. Nine shots to two, or nine shots and two on target. I did not, was not quick enough to see if anyone needed to be subbed. Morgan, there he is. Don't know what the hell happened there. Oh! Come on, guys. Get it on target. O'Donnell looks like he's shit right now. So, Williams. Oh, my lord. Basic ball retention. Up to nobody. Noon. Morgan cannot get it on fucking target. What is this going on? Demand more. Because this is starting to get annoying. So, O'Donnell to Alley. Williams. I don't know what's going on. Noon. Was it offsides? It was a bad shot. I mean, it was on target at least. So at least something's coming out of it. So Crawford with a very quick corner. No one's out on that side. Williams, I what is going on with you? Oh, thank God. I was going to be so fuming pissed off right now. But no, I mean, we have... Oh. Okay. That's bull, but... And that's the last kick of the match, so. Yeah, no, we were definitely unhappy that we couldn't hold out. 
for the win, but it's a draw. What do you say? Happy with the performance? I don't know about that. But it makes them all happy. Um, they're still in first. We're still in second. At least we still have the game in hand. That's that's kind of the big thing right now. Um, we do have West Didsbury. I don't know. It sounds like a very hoity-toity name. So, no, I am not going to any vacant jobs. So, Pickering's injured five to eight days. So, Williams impresses, even though he could not hold on to a fucking ball. How is that possible? So, seven matches in a row without losing. It is what it is. So, schedule-wise, we are finally heading into the final semi-stretch of the, the match. I may pick it up in April. Uh, one of these matches. I think I've already done a Burskoff game. So, we will see. But that does it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support, as always. Take care and enjoy. I've got a headache. I've got a splitting headache.